Welcome back to Forge Fitness Kitchen. We're your hosts. I'm Felly. The most unenthusiastic Felly you've ever seen. And I am Zach Spinoza, aka Cookie Daddy, aka the Daddy of Daddies. And we're here to give you an incredible recipe today. Back at it once again, the Cookie Monsters are here. We aren't here to make you avocado cookies this time. We're here to make you a very simple three ingredient cookie recipe with a couple dashes of seasonings here and there. You know what I'm saying. All right, so let's get into it. Fel, what do we need? Okay, so we're gonna need some ripe bananas, some oats. I think these are quick oats, rolled <laughs> oats, whatever they're called. We're gonna be using our favorite My Protein Protein, which is Snickerdoodle flavored. And like Zach said, some seasoning. So we have a little bit of cinnamon that we're gonna add and a little bit of our dark chocolate chips we made into chunks. All the ingredients and instructions on how to make this recipe will once again be in the description below. Before we get into making this, you guys wanna give this video what? A thumbs up, please and thank you. Comment down below what other recipes and type of Forge Fitness videos you wanna see from us. And most importantly, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and Hit the bell out. for all the new Forge Fitness. Let's get into it. So don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Celsius. I suggest doing that before you start. All right guys, next up, what you're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna be adding in a cup, a, a cup, a cup and a half of our quick oats. Nice and simple, just add this right onto your counter, into your bowl. All right guys, you wanna mix this until you've got a nice, thick, non-liquidy consistency. This is gonna be perfect for your cookies. Once you achieve that nice consistency, you're gonna add your topping, which is our 72% dark chocolate chunks. Just throw that right in there. Some bigger than the others. We're not all creative people. Okay, so because we don't have any baking powder in our recipe, these cookies will not grow. They are going to stay the same shape that you make them. So we're gonna be making them a little bit smaller and cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. That's up to you if you wanna make them a little bit larger. It's a flexible recipe. cooking good looking I'm looking at a mirror right now so it must be me our cookies are ready to go oh baby smell delicious we're steaming up steamy all right so as you can see they're still a little bit ooey they're still a little bit gooey and once again they are definitely not what fell hooey that's right so we're gonna leave these on our stove for five for five minutes to let them cool on the pan and then we're gonna transfer them over to our wire rack and then let them cool for a little bit Maybe we'll jump into them and we'll have a little bit of a bite. But we're gonna add a little chocolate drizzle to this today to make it even more crazy. All right? Mama says shoot your shot. So that's what I'm gonna do here. A little bit of chocolate drizzle. Look at that, perfection. 
Perfection is key here at Ford Fitness Kitchen, guys. Especially when you don't melt it fully. Nothing is better. Yeah, no big deal. Watch. Right back in the microwave. Well, I guess sometimes your mama ain't always right. Time to shoot my shot, Zach. Felicia to the rescue. And the Cookie Monsters are back in action, baby. Our cookies have been cooled. The chocolate drizzle is looking fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Felicia, I'm gonna break that apart. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Look at that close break. Beautiful. Here you go. Not for me, the mm -hmm. big piece. I love it. Yep, I get more chocolate on that. <laughs> Guys, a go-to, a must mm -hmm. for your calorie needs and your love and your life, okay? If you wanna get in shape, you wanna be lean, you wanna enjoy some great cookies, this is the recipe for you. You know it. Forge Fitness Kitchen is how we do. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. So good. As you can tell, not a long bake on these. Mm -mm. Super, super tasty. If you make a huge batch like we did, guys, throw them in your freezer. They'll last you months. Yeah. Throw them in the fridge, they'll last you at least, I'd say at least two weeks. Uh, anything longer than that, you might go a little iffy. So the freezer is always a go to. You can do so many things with this. Cut them up into small pieces, have cereal, protein cereal. You can even use them for a sweet, tasty, frozen summer treat. Love it. I don't know why we're winking, but I'm with her. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know what it is. I'm Feli from Forge Fitness. And I'm Zach Spinoza, AKA the Cookie Daddy, AKA the Cookie Monster. Whatever you want me to be, that's who I am. Stay active, stay moving, and forge on. <laughs>